when men are unemployed, some yeah. of the attraction is lost there. I always had this maybe misconception that if I just worked hard enough, made enough money, that that alone would sustain the attraction and say like my marriage. Yeah. Uh, and when that didn't happen, it was like I started to develop almost like resentment. How much money do I need to make or how, you know, those type of things. But speak a little bit to that as it relates to this. Yeah. Well, yeah, man, it's, I'm so glad you brought that up because I, I, it's the experience for so many men. And, and I really, actually, I want to talk to both sides of this. One is the unemployed guy, which, I mean, it's, it's really hard to uh, be in a situation where, you know, you're married or you've got a girlfriend and things are going pretty good and then you lose your job and, like, your life is kind of shitty. You've been kicked in the nuts here and you're worried about the rent. And then add on top of that... Your woman's jumping ship. Right. And it, and you're like, oh, so it was just all about the money? That's why you were with me? And you're just kicking him when he's down? And, uh, you know, I've had a lot of clients, you know, uh, over the years who've had that story, and it's heartbreaking. But her reality is, I'd have to fake attraction for you at this point. And sometimes they will, you know? Mm -hmm. I mean, uh, you know, a woman will, because she, she actually does feel sorry for him. But part of attraction for a man is that he's powerful, capable, self-trust. It's just, it's in the animal. Like a man who can't hunt and bring food for her young is a problem mm -hmm. in biology. And, and that same biology is the part that controls her, her horny button. That's her horny button. And so it's really hard for her to get it up for that guy. Back to the video in a moment. But if you're struggling in your relationships with women, the answer might very well be a lack of attraction. How do you build attraction? Well, I've got a diagnostic quiz that's gonna help you to locate exactly what your issue is and get you on the road to having more success in every one of your relationships. Click here and check it out now. Now back to the video. On the flip side, there are men who think that all they need to do is go out there and make money and, and sexual polarity is guaranteed because it's a contract, you know? Mm. I mean, look, a lot of men have this idea, maybe they won't say it just exactly this way, but it, it's in there that the whole point of getting married is that, that I, I won't have to try to get sex anymore because I got this person who's sort of like, that's the contract. Like we've made an agreement, mm. you know, I'll pay the rent <laughs> and you'll fuck <laughs> me. <laughs> you know, like <laughs> right. that's the contract. <laughs> so um, it's frustrating when she won't. And um, yeah, it's, it's super common for men particularly who are in high powered, high stress jobs. These guys who are like uh, business owners and C-suite executives. Man, I see these guys all the time feeling like, you know, I'm working 16 hours a day for you, mm -hmm. for us, for our family. Right. And I provide well above average, and yet what's going on here? There's no, no intimacy between us because sexual polarity doesn't come from your having a lot of money. Like having a Ferrari does not actually get chicks. It gets a certain <laughs> kind, well, it gets a certain kind of chick, right? But not a chick who's actually attracted to you. I mean, there, there are, we know for sure, everybody knows that there are some really beautiful women out there who are looking for a rich guy. They're not looking for a rich guy to fall in love with. They're looking for a rich guy. Mm. And if that's the relationship you want, you know, um, they're out there, if you're rich, they're out there. But it's miserable, right? I mean, mm -hmm. it really is contractual. And I think uh, a lot of those men suffer the consequences of, of self-hatred and self-loathing of knowing that she's not really choosing them. It's like, it's a, it, it's, a bad, it's a bad feeling. And frequently, of course, given the opportunity, she's also gonna be a pool boy because, <laughs> you know, that's, look, but, and he knows, like that's what he walked into. But <laughs> it's, it's, so many men think like that's normal. Like, yeah, yeah women, they're just into money. That's what women want. They want money. But that, yet, none of the women you know, right? None of the women you know, only the women you want to date, but none of the women you know, like not your sister, not your mother, not your best friend, not your, like none of the people, none of the women you actually know, they actually want a good man. It is vanishingly rare. It is vanishingly rare. The truth is beautiful women want a great guy. If he's rich, even better. Mm -hmm. But I mean, I kind of feel <laughs> the same way about women. I mean, you know, I want sure. a beautiful wo woman. I want her to be beautiful. I want her to be kind and loving. I want her to be crazy about me, right? I want her to be fun to be with. And if her dad happens to be rich, 
<laughs> bonus, right? <laughs> you know? Right. Nothing wrong with using the private jet now and then. So, I mean, we all, money's fun. Money's fun. We all like it. But every chick flick you ever watch, the rich guy never gets the girl. She always opts for true love in the end. And every girl grew up watching those chick flicks. And in her heart of hearts, the rich guy would be fun, but she'd give it up in a minute for that, you know, poet with a heart of gold who's broke. It ain't the money. It ain't the money. Other than, you know, if he can't support her. So there is this base minimum where she loses attraction for the guy who cannot protect her. She feels unsafe. She loses attraction for him. But she doesn't really gain that much attraction for the rich guy outside of, outside of the fact that he's powerful. It's not the money. It's the power that's attractive. It's not the Ferrari and the jewelry and all that stuff. It's the way people talk to him. So she, he lives in a world where other people are saying, uh, oh, sir, do you think we can do things right? And like she feels status. his power. Yeah, yeah. status. Yeah. Exactly. It's status. Status yeah. is super sexy. Status is super sexy. But good news, if you don't have status, it's not the only thing that's sexy, right? I mean, there's a lot of things that are sexy. Status is one of them. So kind of to dovetail from what you just said, or come home and just you know, yep. get action. I used to think if you're doing all the right things, almost the, the woman would initiate because, oh, she's so grateful. grateful. And, you know, I almost thought like if I wasn't being pursued – I wasn't attractive or why isn't, you know, why isn't she yeah, yeah. jumping on me kind of a thing? It depends on your woman, of course. So, you know, you're a really masculine guy. The woman that's attracted to you is going to be very feminine. The more feminine she is, the more attracted to that part of you she is. As I get this all the time from men who are like, you know, my, my wife's really hot. She's so beautiful. And I feel like all the time I'm initiating sex mm -hmm. and she literally never does can you teach me how to get her to initiate sex and the <laughs> answer is not if you want a good marriage <laughs> <laughs> not because because she's not going to want to do that like that's actually going to start to reduce the polarity in your relationship like mm. women love it when you're the hunter mm. they want to be the hunted now of course it's it, it's fun once in a while on your birthday when she plans big seduction and uh it's super fun to have a woman you know, so hot for you that, you know, she wants to seduce you. But the reality is that's a woman exhibiting her masculine behavior. There are all women that'll do it, but don't like it. But mm. they kind of know you want it and they love you. And so they're going to do it once in a while. But every time they do it, you've made a cash withdrawal. And it doesn't feel like you have because like mm. the feeling is she seduced you tonight. Mm -hmm. It was super fun. And then you had crazy good sex she fell asleep in your arms with a big smile on her face. It was great. Why wouldn't she do it again? <laughs> the answer is because she's feminine. Mm. She didn't like that first part, you know? Um, it made her, just like it makes you feel less attractive that she never, ever initiates sex. And I get it. I mean, I've been, in, I'm not immune to it. Mm. But I have to remind myself that's the way it is. If you're really, I mean, I'm attracted to super feminine women and they don't, they don't initiate sex. And the more masculine you are in the relationship, the better you get at this. Like getting really good at this means she's going to initiate you less. <laughs> it makes it worse. It actually yeah. makes it worse, but it makes, it makes your marriage better and it makes yeah. the sex better. Um, the one antidote I can offer is, <laughs> it, I mean, you still have to initiate, mm -hmm. but you initiate by telling her what you want her to do. So you want her to seduce you, you can say to her, listen, I want you to wear that sexy outfit tonight. And she'll be like, oh, <gasps> That sounds like fun. And, you know, they'll, in other words, like you, you've done it, right? right? And then you can get it, but you've got to tell her to do it. Got it. And because you've told her to do it, you know, her, her sexual polarity is intact. If you're struggling in your relationships with women, the answer might very well be a lack of attraction. How do you build attraction? Well, I've got a diagnostic quiz that's going to help you to locate exactly what your issue is and get you on the road to having more success in every one of your relationships. Click here and check it out now.